I wonder if some elements of the Muslim community in Britain are a protected group. For years, police forces and politicians tripped over themselves to not reveal the true extent of the grooming gang scandal because it didn't want to stoke racial tensions. Another way of looking at this is that it actually protected predominantly British Pakistani rape gangs from the public and for a period of time, prosecution. People suffered as a result of that. I wonder whether or not this is happening all over again now with the PREVENT programme. PREVENT is a scheme designed to stop people becoming radicalised, but it's alleged that some groups who receive taxpayers' money are part of the PREVENT scheme and are actually promoting extremism. Shock horror. Well, surely these groups should be named, shouldn't they? Surely the public and the press have a right to know who these groups are so they can investigate them further and stop vulnerable people from falling into their clutches. But no. Supposedly, woke Home Office officials are worried about naming them and then facing legal action. Well, firstly, if the allegations are true, then there should be no risk of legal action. Secondly, I just don't think that's the real reason. I think the real reason is that they don't want the inevitable fallout. They will be accused of racism and of demonising the Muslim community at large. There will be protests. It would kick right off. There will be claims that it's ignoring the rise of the far right and that white nationalism doesn't get the same kind of exposure. That's just nonsense. Everybody knows that far right extremism is on the increase. And that gets reported all the time. But here are some numbers. The total number of Islamist terror attacks and deaths since 2005 in the UK. 13 attacks, 106 killed. The total number of far right terror attacks and deaths since 2005 in the UK. Three attacks, three killed. 35 times more people have been killed by Islamist attacks than far-right attacks in the UK since 2005. The British public could be forgiven for being more afraid of radical Islamist terrorists than far-right terrorists. And the British public has a right to know if Islamic groups are taking taxpayers' money from a counter-radicalisation programme and actually radicalising people. But that would be wrong, apparently, according to the Muslim Council of Britain. Check this out. Media spokesperson of the Muslim Council of Britain, Mikdad Versi, criticised the report, which is yet to be published, by the way, Michael Gove and its author, William Shawcross, for trying to refocus prevent on Islamism rather than the far right. He and others have also criticised the report for supposedly trying to implicate names and organisations for promoting extremist narratives and have suggested this is an, get this, infringement upon free expression. So, freedom of expression is OK if it's being used to turn people into Islamist extremists who may or may not go on to commit acts of jihad on the streets of Britain. But freedom of expression does not exist if people want to highlight that fact and that people are being radicalised. Go figure. I find it strange that in Britain, a Christian woman silently praying in her own head outside an abortion clinic is arrested, but members of a British-Pakistani grooming gang are essentially allowed to crack on. Karan Butt, the Borough Market terrorist who killed several people, was featured, apparently, in a Channel 4 documentary called Jihadi Next Door, during which he unfurled an ISIS flag in a park in London. He was allowed to go on and slaughter people. Radical hate preachers have been welcomed into mosques. Hordes of men can openly call for Jewish blood on the streets of Britain, call to rape their mothers, for goodness sake. If the independent report into Prevent reveals that some Islamist groups have been taking taxpayers' money and continuing to promote radical extremism, and if that gets covered up by the state, then I have to ask, why on earth are we tripping over ourselves to protect the very group of people who wish to actively destroy us?